Looking for a few good friends, there's no shortage of potential candidates waiting for you, believe it or not, online. More and more women are turning to the internet to find platonic pals and expand their social horizons. Shasta Nelson is the founder of GirlfriendCircles.com, and Karen, Shanasa, Michelle, and Julia have all met friends through her website. So nice to see you. Hi, ladies. Hi. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. So. Shasta, what, what prompted you to start this website? Because I've never actually heard of a website to meet girlfriends. Yeah, well, it was when I moved to San Francisco, my first reaction was, you know, I have so many friends all over the country that maybe I don't need to go make new friends, you know? And it just was one of those moments, walking down a, a sidewalk, I looked in a cafe window, and there was a group of women huddled around a table laughing, and I kind of remember it like a slow motion movie now, where they're just like, oh. <laughs> and I remember, I remember just looking at it and it just hit me like, I want that. But then the very next step is, how do you get that? And I woke up the next morning and said, I'm starting Girlfriend Circles. Which is great. <laughs> and so how does it work? The most popular way is connecting circles where the, the system matches you up with three to six other women who live near you, who are in your age range, and invites you to meet at a local cafe in your, in your area. So ages 21 to 75-ish join, and they get matched up in small groups. So you don't have to do awkward one-on-one -on -one dates. That's so cute. I think it's a great idea. And Karen, so you went on the website. And yeah. what, why did you want to do that? What I found was it was really challenging to often find one person who was free to go out and do things. And so it's been a great way to really meet a group of friends that are very active, that want to go do things. And what about you, Shanasa? Um, as people get older, their life dynamics change. So you have friends getting married, friends having babies. And if you're not in that position, it changes the dynamic of the friendship. Clearly, you guys understand the, the value of friendship. And Shasta, even scientific studies show girlfriends are actually good for your health, huge, right? Huge, I mean, scoring is as valid as exercise, which, you know, I think is just amazing as the factors. It's like for women recovering from breast, can uh, breast cancer, they say the number one factor is your circle of friends, more than whether you smoke, more than whether you exercise. I mean, it reduces your stress, it increases your longevity. It's, it's amazing. When you look at the statistics, you would, you would say, I need to go out and have girls night every week, the same way you would say, I need to like go exercise, you know? I mean, it's really, it doesn't just feel good, it actually is very very good for us. <laughs> and, and I think also there's nothing like girlfriends in terms of getting a support system. Yeah. I think Goldie Hawn was on the show recently and she said if you're looking for real intimacy, don't look at your partner, look, at your, look to your girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Which I guess is a sad commentary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You need more. You need yeah. love in all places. Yeah. Of good. We don't exactly. limit it, but just bring in the love. Yeah. Bring yeah. Yeah. You mentioned lifelong 